Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, I am here with another new game. This time, I am here with one of the game that I have played a ton, and I mean a ton of, uh, in the last, like, two months. And it is Ark Knights. It is a gacha game produced in China uh, by the company Yostar, and uh, the same company that produced uh, Azure Lane as well, if you know anything about that. But this one is a tower defense game, and uh, I have a specific challenge that I want to do, which is why we are on the create a name screen. I wanted to start a new uh, account, and, and I wanted to do this challenge to see how good I personally was at the game and how much I could push myself uh, to accomplish specific things within the game. Now... Everyone knows that you can accomplish the game using the best tiered units, right? Uh, in fact, we will actually bring up the tier list that uh, that shows what exactly the best operators are. Or, maybe not exactly, but generally. So, here we are on the tier list website. Uh, one of many. Uh, and here we can see what all the uh, the best operators are in the game, right? We have our S tiers. We have B plus all the way down to D, right? And we can see, ah, for this specific genre of, uh, of characters, the caster, the AoE caster, we have all of these different operators, right? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. It goes all the way down. And uh, what we are going to be doing is there are a bunch of operators here as you can see s a plus a a ton of different operators right up here we have a a minus s we are going to start this challenge by saying any operator that is on this tier list at a minus or above we will not use right which basically means that no five stars nor six stars will be used. So, basically, we're going into this just using the lowest of the low that we can. Bunch of three stars, two stars, and four stars, right? Even some four stars we won't be able to use. For example, Kuora right here. Can't use her. She's too good. She's an A tier, right? Similar things like that, right? Uh, there are five stars that we might be able to use but i i doubt it e even one of the worst like frame flame bringer is still an a minus right so there's that that is the whole goal of this series in arc knights i wanted to think of a way that we could play arc knights in a youtube video that isn't just a guide and i think i found a way and that includes uh the one character that we all get amia Amia, I will, there are, I think, specific missions where you have to use Amia in one way or another uh, to just progress, otherwise you can't, like, beat the mission. Um, however, in anything that isn't specifically that, isn't specifically, like, a training, you are set with these specific units, we will be not using Amia. Nah, none of that. Nothing like that. This is to see how good we are at the game and to see how much of a free-to-play player we can be. Truly scraping the bottom of the barrel kind of thing. So let's hop right into our account and creating it. So, obviously, we got to start with the name. I'm just going to go with Snow. No. No capitals, except for the first... You always capitalize your name. Ladies and gentlemen, always capitalize your name. If you don't, you're weird. All right, we're gonna get. We're actually gonna read this story real quick. Ah, it's you. Oh, it's Amia. I forgot. It's been a long time since we've last seen each other. During this time, you've been teetering on the edge of a cliff. You may have forgotten who you are, but just remembering your name is enough. It's time. Don't linger here for too long. After all, you aren't my guest yet, nor should you even be here. She still needs you. Oh wait, that that wasn't Amia. I'm 
Okay, I do not know the story at all. So we're just going to go through this first story, uh, and then I'll probably skip through because you want to see the challenge. Right? You may not remember what this date means to you. Oh, it was December 23rd. Uh, and this will thrust you into peril. No. You must try to remember. All right. I think I think you get the point. I think we're just going to skip right into this. Uh, no story. No story. We're just... Just cut that. Here we go. Operation question mark? Lungman, a nomadic city. All right, here we go. Doctor, we don't have a lot of time. But don't worry. I will help you to regain basic mo movement capabilities. The enemy will show up from here. We must not let them reach reach you. So make sure they do not get close to this location. They're, uh, they're getting closer, so be prepared. Oh, who is this? This is an enemy that we must defeat. Thank you, Amia. Oh, he's a member of Reunion. Down here is a list of Rhode Island operators on standby. Once deployed, they can participate in the operation. Now, immediately we start out with Texas and Exusai. Exusai? I don't know how to say her name. We're going to skip through this. It's just teaching you how to play the game. If you want to read it, go ahead. Uh, but right off the bat, we do have to use them. It is a requirement. And as I said, obviously, there are levels that we are required to play these six or five or six star operators, right? But we can't do anything about that. We literally have to play that. Otherwise, we cannot progress, right? So granted, I could start over on a new or on a an already made account and just do the same thing just with like the new account but or with the uh the old account but i did want to do this as a new account just to show you that uh you know it is possible um yeah again it's just showing you how the game is played so we're just gonna let this play out and i will see you guys when this is finished and here we are after the mission is complete watch out from the other direction so here we go jumping into operation number two and I believe this time we don't have, like, six-star units, but I could be very wrong. Oh, look at that. Texas is already deployed. Nothing we can do about that. We have 30. Uh, I could actually just straight up lose this mission and be fine. I could just not do anything at the moment and be fine. Right? We've got Texas. We're going to speed it up. Yes, let's use the skill. She, it's just it's just a tutorial. We're going to use the skill. Look at that. Sword rain. This is why Texas is awesome. I have her in one of my other accounts. In my other account. And that, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. Instructor Doberman. She's a four star. We can use her. We're good with this. <laughs> let's speed it up. Instructor Doberman is in trouble. Amiya shows up. Coolio. Don't really care. Not a big fan. I'm gonna activate her skill. Pop, pop, pop. Let's get it going. I believe she's already the E1 diversion, but that's fine. Oh no, they're coming from behind. What are we going to do? Just plop down. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's Lisk Arm and XUC. Excuse, ex, 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 I have no idea. And bada bing, bada boom. Mission accomplished. There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna just skip the, skip the story. Skip the story. No one wants it. Here we are at the made HUD of the game. We've got a bunch of notifications to get through. Uh, I'm gonna get through all of this. And I will see you guys when we actually get into the challenge of uh, building our team and doing stuff like that. So, I will see you guys in a second. Oh, also, yeah, it's going to make me do a quick roll real quick here. Uh, and we are guaranteed at least one six star from this banner and one five star. Hopefully, we get something good in terms of a four star. Um, I don't know what good four star we could get. 
So, we'll just see. Okay, we do end up getting a four star. So that's pretty pog. Here we go. Who do we get? Don't be Myrtle. Meteor! Okay, Meteor's actually pretty uh, decent. I don't believe she's an A. So, uh, that's a pretty good just sniper for us there. So, awesome. It's just going to go through the rest of the tutorial. So, I'll see you guys when the tutorial is done. Alright, so here we are in the very first mission. And uh, we did get Meteor, so we put her into the squad. And she can be used, I just checked. Uh, so we're just going to uh, quickly get through this. We're going to put down my, my fave boy, Ranger. Rangers. I don't know why it's plural, but it is, so. Put Yato down. And that should be it. So, uh, see you guys when it's done. Real quick, I wanted to just show you uh, these training missions that the TR slash whatever... Uh, these missions are the ones that you can't change your uh, team up for, and those are the ones where I think in some of the later ones, Amiya is present and you have to actually use her in order to win. This one is not the case, uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'll probably just be skipping through these because you just there's only one way to do them kind of thing. Anyway, uh, see you uh, soon. All right, guys. So... Here we are, I just got a whole bunch of Orundum, which is the uh, the stuff used to roll for operators, and I figured might as well try out a 10 roll to see if we can get something good. Uh, granted, nothing we get is actually good, but hey, we're guaranteed a 6 star and a 5 star, so we've guaranteed 2 units that we won't be able to use. And then obviously we have the other 2 banners that we could roll off of, but alas, we're just going to focus on this one for now. So, we're gonna, boom, 10, right now. Here we go. Okay, we got a six star, cool. Um, oh, it's right at the end, too. Melantha, okay, Melantha's actually really good for what we're doing. She is, she just does so much damage, and while she is a one blocker, uh, she's really good at just, you know, popping in, dealing a ton of damage, so that's really good to get early. Anzel we can get from recruiting, so I'm not too upset with that, but I'm also not too happy about that. Uh, it's all good, though. Shiryuki. Shiryuki is actually pretty good. Uh, she is an AoE sniper, which will allow us to deal uh, damage to a group of enemies, which is really good. I like me some Matoi Maru. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. <laughs> okay. La uh! I gotta, I gotta grab my mic. Why is this on the account that I'm not gonna use her? <laughs> no! Uh, Lapland is one of the best five stars that you can get. Probably, uh, okay, not the best, but one of the best. Uh, so, uh, awesome, never gonna use her. Scavenger, a vanguard, that's actually pretty good. Uh, vanguards allow you to re uh, gain DP, uh, also known as deployment points, which allows you to put more units onto the field quicker. So that's good that we got a four star there. We got another Matoi Maru, that's a duplicate, uh, but Matoi Maru's uh, uh, potential will go up, so that's pretty good. Another Anzel, not the greatest, but hey, that's another medic. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll let it slide. Siege! Can't use her either. It's fine. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter. We're skipping it. Plume. Okay, Plume's actually also very good. Similar to uh, Melantha with the one blocking kind of more for the DPS. However, she is Vanguard, so she recovers DP as well. Um, so, pretty good there. Uh, we actually did end up getting two really good units for... Uh, for just regular play, but in terms of what we're after, that wasn't the greatest of pulls. Uh, but let's go to our team real quick. Let's uh, let's make a squad and see if it if it if if it'll work, right? Uh, yeah, let's go to quick select. Oh, it's just like, hey, put in some uh, some uh, uh, some medics. That's what they're. That's what they are. 
I may actually end up just like boosting these guys up and potentially E2ing them. Probably not Lapland, but maybe Siege. Just because then I can give it to my friends and be like, here, have fun with that. Uh, but in terms of for us, I think we're, uh, I mean, we're just going to get rid of you. You're just going to get out of that. We don't want you. Um, dang, that is, that's two really good pulls. Uh, it's obviously not like a Silver Ash or an Ayafiala or anything like that, but it's still really good. Uh, I think I think we're gonna we're gonna level up our boy Ranger here. We've got a few of these uh, these battle what what are they battle records, which basically just allows you to give your uh, units experience. So we're gonna level up my boy, the boy, the lad Ranger. And then we can't promote him because he's a level 2, which is sad. But hey, now we've got our level 12 ranger. He's going to do a bit more damage and everything like that. And let's quickly hop into combat. We're going to do Operation 0 0.2, 0 0-2. And we're going to just... This one should also be pretty easy. So I'm just going to get this out of the way. i uh, skip the story. Skip the story. No. We don't do story here. It's because this story takes like 10 years. Anyway. Yeah, I, as you can see, our uh, our lineup's looking very different now, uh, which is pretty good. So I'm going to put Rain here. I'm, I'm just going to put Scavenger right there. And uh, I will see you guys when this is finished, because it, it's, it's going to be a cakewalk. Mission accomplished. Bada bing, bada boom. This is basically going to be it for the first... Uh, little bit it's just gonna be a lot of repetition we did end up getting wow apparently you can only get that from this stage uh but that's fine so yeah now we're gonna go into recruiting and I, i'll go through this with you guys just because uh there are little tips and tricks uh to help you understand uh first of all increase the time to nine it allows you to get the most um however we don't really want five stars nearly as much um, but we still want to increase it because five stars, even, even though it says you can get five stars, it's extremely rare. Uh, but we do want those four stars. There are a couple of four stars that are pretty good. So here we go. Let's get a caster. We do need a caster. We don't have one at the moment. So we'll do that. Drop down, uh, get a caster. These are just saying, Hey, these are the kind of units that you can get using these, uh, these job tags, right? You pair them up together and you go, okay, these are the things that I need. Uh, we're going to, again, go for a DPS, right? So, there you go. That's recruiting. Uh, there are a few other tips and tricks. I'm sure there are tons of uh, tutorials online on how to recruit for Arc Knights. But, anyway, I'm going to continue this. I will see you guys in the next episode, however. This will probably like be like once a week. I'll try and record any of the new, uh, the new maps that aren't just trivial and I'll, I'll show like how I get through them and stuff like that but I'll do probably like a recap once a week uh, on my progress but anyway that's going to be it for this episode I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy if you did a like is very much so appreciated and if you want to check out more content like this as well as the rest of this series then just be sure to subscribe anyway thank you guys so much for watching and remember to always stay frosty bye bye